Hi, this is April from Android Authority. We've been hearing a lot of praise for the LG Optimus G and its processing hardware, but we wanted to see if it really packed the same bite as its Spark. We pitted the Snapdragon S4 Pro against the Samsung Galaxy S3's Exynos 4412 processor to see which one has the sharpest bite. The Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro chipset consists of the 1.5 GHz quad-core Crate CPU and the Adreno 320 GPU. The Samsung Exynos 4412 chipset, on the other hand, consists of the 1.4 GHz quad-core ARM Cortex-A9 CPU and the ARM Mali 400 MP4 GPU. Let's take these two babies for a series of benchmark tests and see which one is the best. Let's start with the first set of multi-purpose benchmark tests. First off, we will be performing the Quadrant benchmarking test on both phones. This test will measure the CPU, input and output, and 3D display performance. Let's see how the Snapdragon and Exynos will do in this round. Whoa, the Snapdragon S4 Pro is practically breathing fire with a score of 6,242 against the Exynos 4412's 5,461. Next, let's run the Antutu benchmark on both phones. This one measures the overall performance of a device's processor, memory, CPU integer performance, CPU floating point, 2D and 3D performance, SD card reading and writing speed, and database input and output performance. As you can see, the Snapdragon S4 Pro still defends its number one spot with a score of 11,248. The Exynos 4412 processor gave a good fight with a score of 10,239. The Snapdragon S4 Pro is still sitting in the number one spot. Let's see if the CF Bench benchmark will yield the same results. This benchmark is specifically designed to measure the CPU and memory performance of multi-core devices. Let's find out! There! The Snapdragon S4 Pro is still on the top with a score of 14,320. The Exynos 4412 processor acquired only 13,224. For the next benchmark test, we use the Velamo Mobile Benchmark to test the phone's HTML5 and CPU performance. Velamo Mobile Benchmark HTML5 measures the performance of the phone's web browser. Let's see how each phone fares. The Galaxy S3 acquired a good score of 1,417. The Optimus G performed even better with a score of 1,535. Now let's run Velamo Mobile Benchmark Metal to measure the CPU performance of these mobile processors. Let's see the results. The Samsung Exynos 4412 processor finally beats the Snapdragon S4 Pro with a score of 557 over 543. It was quite a close fight. We just finished the first round of our benchmark tests. So far, the Samsung Exynos 4412 scored higher than the Snapdragon S4 Pro in the Velamo Mobile Benchmark Medal, but the Snapdragon S4 Pro dominated in the Quadrant Benchmark, Antutu Benchmark, CF Bench Benchmark, and Velamo Mobile Benchmark HTML5 tests. Now that we're done with measuring the overall system performance, let's now move on to a more specific part, the CPU. The next series of benchmarks will measure how fast the 1.5 GHz quad-core crate processor of the Snapdragon S4 Pro and the 1.4 GHz quad-core Cortex-A9 of the Exynos 4412 perform. We used Geekbench 2 to measure CPU and memory performance. Let's see how both processors fare. The Snapdragon S4 Pro processor acquired a score of 1,681. The Exynos acquired a lower score of 1,489. To measure CPU computing speed, we used Linpack for Android. This benchmark measures how fast a CPU solves a dense n by n system of linear equations Ax equals b, which is a common task in engineering. Results are represented in millions of floating point operations per second, also known as megaflops or mflops. The higher the mflop score, the better the rating. We performed two tests, single thread and multi thread. For the single thread test, the Exynos 4412 got a rating of 54.937 mflops. The Snapdragon wins this test with a score of 194.059 mflops. 
Let's now see if the multi-thread test will yield the same results. The Snapdragon still beats Exynos with a rating of 460.838 mflops against 121.256 mflops from the Samsung processor. As you can see, in the second round of our benchmark tests, the Snapdragon S4 Pro got better scores than the Samsung Exynos 4412 in all four tests. Two rounds down and two more to go. Next up is the Graphic Processors Benchmark Round. These benchmarks provide us some idea about which device has better graphics and display performance. Let's begin this round with GL Benchmark 2.5 Egypt HD C24Z16, both on-screen and off-screen tests. For the GL Benchmark on-screen test, the Snapdragon S4 Pro snagged a score of 28 frames per second over the Exynos 4412's 15 frames per second. For the off-screen test, the Snapdragon S4 Pro got the top spot again with 20 frames per second over the Exynos 4412's 15 frames per second. The Nenemark 1 test was a tie for both processors as they both scored 60 frames per second. It was a very close battle in the Nenemark 2 test, with the Samsung Exynos 4412 scoring 58.8 FPS just 0.1 FPS higher than the Snapdragon S4 Pro's 58.7 FPS. In the last test of this round, the AM3D Bench XL benchmark, the Snapdragon S4 Pro tops the Exynos 4412 again, with a score of 35,504 over the Samsung chip score of 34,334. Now it's time for the browser benchmark set of tests, the fourth round in this processor brawl. First up is the SunSpider for JavaScript test, which measures the core JavaScript language ability of the device. For this test, lower is better, and the Snapdragon S4 Pro certainly scored lower with 1606.0 milliseconds. The Samsung Exynos 4412 only got 2036.8 milliseconds. The Writeware BrowseMark test is up next. This test measures overall browser performance. The Samsung Exynos 4412 is not going down without a fight and comes in with 168,448 compared to the Snapdragon S4 Pro score of 89,018. Last but not the least, we pitted these two processors against each other in the Google V8 benchmark suite. Bigger is better in this test. The Exynos 4412 got a score of 1,744, while the Snapdragon S4 Pro got 1,129. In the three browser benchmark tests, the Samsung Exynos 4412 scored higher in both the Writeware benchmark and the Google V8 benchmark suite tests, while the Snapdragon S4 Pro won in the SenseBiter for JavaScript test. As you can see, the Snapdragon S4 Pro lorded over the majority of the benchmark tests. Qualcomm certainly created a beast. The Samsung Exynos 4412, on the other hand, did not fare poorly in the tests at all, but it's also worth remembering that the Galaxy S3 came out earlier than the Optimus G. What do you think of these results, guys? Do these sway you into choosing the LG Optimus G as your next Android phone? Leave your comments and let us know. Also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit androidauthority.com for the latest Android news and device reviews. This is April from Android Authority. Thanks for watching. May the light side of the Android Force be with you.